Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula. For over 2,000 years, rain-drenched jungles and fertile plains served as the home of one of the ancient world's greatest civilizations, the Maya. Scholars estimate that between 250 and 900 AD, the Mayan population consisted of between 15 to 20 million people and extended as far south as Costa Rica and Guatemala. Archaeological evidence suggests the Maya were one of the first ancient people to develop a written language, use modern mathematical methods, and build massive, multi-story celestial observatories, all at a time when Europeans were struggling through the so-called Dark Ages. The Maya are considered one of the great advanced civilizations with hyper-advanced astronomy, astrology, trigonometry, uh, architecture, all of these things while the Europeans were, at the time, rolling around in the mud. But perhaps the most amazing Mayan achievement was their system of charting the stars and planets in the form of a calendar. The Mayas were timekeepers above and beyond all other things. Keeping up with time was magic, it was power to the Mayans. They were tracking in particular Venus, phases of the moon, eclipses, but they also tracked precession, which is an extraordinarily long cycle. What it means is that every year on, say, March 15th, the Pleiades rise for the first time in the sky. If you wait 72 years, the day of the rising of the Pleiades will be one day earlier. And if you wait another 72 years, it'll be a day earlier still. And if you wait 26,000 years, the Pleiades will move back to that same day. According to scholars, the Maya believed that time, like the stars, moved in repeating patterns called calendar cycles, and that these cycles could be used to predict future events. One of these calendar cycles, the Mayan long count, lasts for 5,125 years and will end on December 21st, 2012. But why? Why did the Maya choose this date? And what did they believe would happen to our world? Perhaps a clue can be found in an astronomical phenomenon located at the center of the Milky Way galaxy, an area where there are no stars. The Mayans knew, not only did they know where the center of the galaxy was, but they understood that it was a light year across black hole that they called the Great Rift. The Maya believed this was the birth canal of the universe and that all things came from the birth canal of the universe. And on December 21st, 2012, the Earth, the Sun, and this birth canal, the Dark Rift, are all in perfect alignment. And this only happens every 26,000 years. Could the fact that the Maya long count calendar ends on the same day as this rare alignment in the Milky Way galaxy be a mere coincidence? And did this advanced understanding of celestial cycles really come from ancient Mayan astronomers observing the stars with only their naked eyes? The Mayans believed that this knowledge came to them from their gods, and their gods then existed in the stars. So is it possible that these gods could have been extraterrestrials? The answer to that question is yes, it's possible. According to the Maya themselves, this knowledge was not something that they came up with, but it was given to them as a gift from the gods. The gift back then was not material stuff, it was knowledge. Knowledge is the currency of the universe. <laughs>